2023 Toyota Corolla Cross Review, Sophistication and Driving Comfort. Crossovers are big business in the USA and Toyota has such an entry in every market niche, starting with the tiny CHR. The next step up used to be the RAV4, but since last year, Toyota has inserted the Corolla Cross into the space above the CHR and below the RAV4, and it's available in both IC and hybrid derivatives. In fact, the Corolla Cross will soon have to fill the shoes of the CHR as well, with that car being discontinued. The Corolla Cross borrows a lot from the Corolla but comes with a higher ride height, more cargo space, available AWD, and the cool factor associated with crossovers. It's a shame, then, that it has to make do with an anemic 169 horsepower 2.0 liter naturally aspirated engine. Alternatively, there is a more expensive hybrid with a handy 194 horsepower coupled to standard AWD. The weak and whiny base 2.0 liter engine, forgettable on road dynamics, and spoil sport CVT conspire against Toyota's high riding Corolla, especially as it comes up against tough competition such as the Kia Seltos, Mazda CX 30, and a bevy of Korean rivals. 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross Changes What's the difference versus the 2022 Corolla Cross? The biggest news for the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross is the addition of the 194 horsepower AWD hybrid to the lineup, available in five trims. As for the regular Toyota Corolla Cross we review here, the same three trims remain, and it continues on into the new model year, mostly unchanged. A welcome update is that the new Toyota Corolla Cross crossover lineup benefits from an updated infotainment system that runs the next generation of Toyota's infotainment software and has wireless smartphone integration and an 8-inch touchscreen on all trims, last year's L-Trim had a 7-inch display. The 2023 Corolla Cross also gets the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 driver assistance suite as standard. Pros and Cons Lots of standard safety features High value pricing. Available AWD. Comfortable ride. Good fuel economy. Weak and unrefined engine. Dull driving dynamics. Unimaginative styling inside and out. Limited rear seat space. 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross Handling and Driving Impressions. The Corolla Crossroad manners will not leave a lasting impression on you unless you prioritize comfort and driving ease above all else. It does that well because it's easy to drive and the suspension is set up with an absorbent ride in mind. All the fun has been tuned out of the chassis, and the soft ride can border on floaty, but it certainly does a good job of filtering out road shocks and vibrations. It's not as restful inside as you might expect, with noticeable road roar on course chip surfaces and quite a din from the ventilation fan when the AC is on full blast. The powertrain does nothing to save the day and the naturally aspirated 2.0-liter engine needs to be revved hard to deliver its 169 horsepower and 151 lbft of torque. A CVT is the only transmission choice and as is often the case with naturally aspirated engines, it makes for an unhappy dance partner for the Corolla Cross engine. Besides being really slow, the engine is coarse and noisy when the CVT allows it to rev out to extract some meaningful progress, which is a lot of the time. Verdict, is the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross a good SUV? If excitement is way down on your list of priorities and all you want is a roomier, higher-riding Corolla that offers you plenty of comfort and peace of mind safety, the Corolla Cross is indeed a very good crossover. However, most people want more from their ride than that and if you have a pension for speed, steer well clear of the Corolla Cross or go for the significantly more punchy hybrid. In this competitive class, no participant can afford to be a one-trick pony and that's exactly what the Corolla Cross is, catering to comfort, but offering little else and being a mostly unfulfilling driving experience. The Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid is a far more compelling prospect but as things stand, most of the players in this class have the standard gas-powered Corolla Cross beat for all-round ability. 2023 Corolla Cross Interior the Corolla Cross shares its interior design with the Corolla sedan, and that's a good thing. It might not be the most striking interior in the automotive world, but it is screwed together properly and feels like it will last a lifetime. 
This is the kind of car your grandkids will still use 40 years from now to get to college and back, and every single piece of the interior will still operate perfectly. The cabin is spacious and the seats are comfortable. The base models get a nifty 4.2-inch multi-information display screen in the instrument cluster, while XLE gets a 7-inch digital gauge cluster. The dashboard-mounted touchscreen interface is iPad-like, and the system is easy enough to use and understand. Seating and Interior Space As a 5-seater, the Corolla Cross is where you learn how it sits between the CHR and RAV4. The back is roomier than the CHR and offers just enough legroom for adults, although taller adults will be comfier in the RAV4. For kids, though, the rear is perfectly measured for a young family. The extra body width, plus 1.2 inches, and length, plus 3 inches, over the CHR is not a lot on paper, but it makes a meaningful difference to leg and elbow room. Adding to rear comfort are the rear seat HVAC vents that Toyota is keen to point out are standard throughout the range. You have all the comfort and convenience of a Toyota Corolla in the front but with a more upright seating position. Visibility is great until you look in the rearview mirror and see how small the rear window is, but we didn't find it problematic. Even in the basic trim model with manual adjusting seats, it's easy to find a comfortable driving position. The Corolla Cross is available in L, LE, and XLE trims, all in either FWD or AWD. All models are equipped with the same 2.0-liter engine producing 169 horsepower and 151 lbft, a CVT automatic is standard across the range. The L is equipped with basic comfort amenities like manual air conditioning, an 8-inch touchscreen interface with wireless Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto, a 6-speaker sound system, and a rear-view camera. It does come with the comprehensive Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 suite as standard this year, however. Le models gain single-zone climate control, wireless charging, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel. The XLE trim boasts dual-zone climate control, a leather shifter, a 10-way power-adjustable driver's seat, and six cup holders. What's the price of the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross? The price of the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross starts at $23,060 for the entry-level L in FWD guys, increasing to $25,390 for the mid-range LE and $27,165 for the top-spec XLE. In all cases, upgrading to AWD will add $1,300 to your bill. These prices exclude a destination charge of $1,335. 2023 Corolla Cross Performance The Corolla Cross utilizes the same 2.0-liter naturally aspirated inline-four engine used in its sedan sibling, and it makes 169 horsepower and 151 lbft of torque. The sedan is already a bit of a slouch, and the additional weight doesn't help with acceleration. Toyota doesn't claim 0 to 60 or top speed figures, but independent testing has shown that the AWD needs a slow 9.5 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour. As is often the case, the CVT does not play well with the low torque naturally aspirated engine and the lack of power means the engine is often sent revving high to extract performance, which it does in a noisy and unrefined way. Rivals like the Kia Seltos offer turbocharged power and significantly more torque, so there are better choices if you like your crossover to have a bit of poke. The Toyota's maximum towing capacity is also just 1,500 pounds. All trim levels are available in FWD and AWD. The AWD models come with dynamic torque control, meaning that 50% of the available power can be sent to the rear axle once the front loses traction. It's a basic system, but perfectly fine given the audience Toyota is targeting. The Cross can be ordered with several accessories aimed at adventurous types. You can strap a bicycle to the roof and head to the nearest adventure farm located on the other side of a well-groomed gravel road. In that scenario, a rudimentary AWD system is all you need. A hybrid model is expected shortly, and it will likely be the model to go for if you require more power. If you're a relaxed driver, the standard Corolla Cross should be good enough.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.